Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Today we're at the Dowling Garage Sales. Uh, every year about this time they have a, a big garage sale in a field just south of town. Well, town, it's the four corners. But it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of things to see. Come on with me. Hi. Always a lot of old tools. Hi. What's the price on this? Two? I'll take it. There you go. Thank you. Well, that's the way to have a garage sale. Have somebody go pick up the money for you and everything. What are you asking for this thing? Fifteen. Have to think about it. Hi guys. Having a good day? Hot. Well, that's better than rain, I guess. Hello. Pack it up. Yeah. Very many shoppers. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest. Well, tomorrow will be better. Yeah, hopefully.
Now, here's a big pile of stuff. You know who's running this? Cool. I'm gonna ask and you can always say no. Would you take three for it? No. Okay. <laughs> that I picked up over on the other side. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Got a change? Yeah. All right. Cool. There we go. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. I got my hands full. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. All right, everybody. Well, so far, I've been doing pretty good. Somebody must have cleaned you out already. You got one whole display area empty. Oh, we, we cover up when it rains. Ah. We had a little rain, so. Now we're drying it out. Kind of dry a little bit of it out. It works really good to cover up everything. That's a plan. Yes. Always good to have a plan for weather like this. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty cents a piece for these files is what you can mark on them, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll take both. Okay. They're good files. I just come out for the dance. Mistakes. Mm-hmm. Well, I sharpen files. Oh, you do? Yes. They can be sharpened. Really. Yes, uh, I have a YouTube channel. My name is on the channel is Old Sneelock. I have a channel where I show you how to do all kinds of things, and one of those is sharpening files with acid. All it takes is some battery acid or citric acid or drain cleaner, and you can sharpen a file. Okay, I will look for that. I will. Okay, Old Sneelock. Okay, yes. Okay. I've seen that. You have? Yes. Well, now you met Old Sneelock. Nice to meet Glad you. Glad to meet you, sir. Thank you. I love Thank going you. around to these shows and, and sales and buying up stuff. And the thing I do is I buy it, I take it home, I fix it, and I videotape while I do it. That's neat. Yep. That is neat. I didn't know that you could. I didn't know that you could. I'm not making a living at it, but no. it's paying for the stuff that I buy at these sales, so <laughs> I'm winning. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to go back to the truck because my hand's full. Yeah, that's See you guys later. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Well, that's a pretty good deal. So far, I picked up two files, a drill rack, and a hydraulic cylinder. Don't know what I'll do with them. Well, I know what I'll do with the files, and I know what I'll do with the drill rack. Hydraulic cylinder is a bit iffy.
pretty good. How you doing? Good. No complaints anyway. Doesn't do any good. Nobody listens. Nah. No. But you got sunshine and you got a oh, shade yeah. to keep you out of the sunshine. Good, good, good. And what little bit of rain you had, not much of a problem. Nope. It's covered it up. Hopefully we won't have it tomorrow. The problem with these things is everybody thought they looked too much like a hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's what a lot of them used them for. You know, your old balls and whatever. Bolts got rusty, hammered on them, and then you yep. square, square wrench to get them off. Well, you can still do that today. A lot of guys don't know that, but, you know, if you got a nut that's on there, just hammer on it. Put a bar underneath or something, hammer it. Mm -hmm. I used to collect old tractors before I moved to a smaller house. Oh. And, uh, Spent a lot of time getting the old square bolts off. Oh yeah. I figured out that an acetylene torch and heated up about red comes right off. But then again, if you got it on a wood plow or whatever, you you don't want to do that. You know. Yep. <laughs> don't want to do that. That's something I've never seen before. What is this? For outboard motor, the old outboard motor. You know, oh, to pick it up with. Pick it up with. Put that on the back of the housing and then you had a handle lift on it. That's it. I see. That's it. I could have used one on my old Johnson. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think we got it. Oh, wait a minute. That one's bent. Darn it all. We were at a point where we were going to make a sale. Oh, okay, which one's bent? They bent the movable jaw. Somebody reefed on it. Oh, I see. Yeah, the back side of it. Where there's a will, there's a way, and where there's a big bar, people will break things. This is six bucks. You got change for twenty? Yes, sir. Good. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. I have a lot of fun coming to these old sales. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, you're making a little money in the process. Well, you never know what you paid for in the past, you know. 
Well, what I do is, I'm old Sneelock. I have a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and I go around and I buy old tools like this. This one I don't have to do much to, but I clean them up, fix them up, and I take a video of it, and I run it on the YouTube. So, the YouTube channel doesn't pay much, but it's just enough to cover my expenses on buying tools. Oh, yeah. Well, so, that's good. <laughs> it's not such a bad deal. No. <laughs> Would you want to be in one of the videos? No. You ever hear of... Uh... The, the, the magazine, uh, what is it, Spark? Yep. Out of, out of Kalamazoo, I was in that magazine. I held up my uh, stool there down Kalamazoo County Fairgrounds. <laughs> yeah, I was in that. He, he comes down, I don't know, he's he been down on Bayou Bank Street. He comes down there, takes pictures of some of the older people that's in there. Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. He has something every month about, you know, Pretty good haul. One of the things you always want to carry in the back of the truck is some baby wipes. Because when you come to one of these sales, your hands get dirty. But with the baby wipes, the dirt isn't up on the wipe. Just like when your kids were little and you used it on their bottom, well, it takes all the stuff off your hands just like it took off their bottom. Nice and neat. And then it goes right behind the seat, ready for the next time. Well, that was the Dowling garage sale. Now I'm off to pick up some t-shirts. If everything works out the way I got it planned, there'll be old Sneelock shirts for sale soon. Stay tuned, I'll let you know what's happening. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. This is my first trip to a garage sale with one of these cameras, and we're gonna see how it works. If everybody likes it, we'll do it again. Just leave a note in the comments below and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching.